The monkey is back and so is your weekly cloud gaming news recap. Let's find out what went down this past week. We'll kick off with Stadia and the House of the Dead remake that has arrived this past week. Be prepared to hear the word reload 100 times a minute while playing this one as it keeps in line with the original in the best and worst possible ways. Check out Jerry's overview of the game when you can. You're probably wondering why the store page looks slightly different. Stadia has rolled out some new improvements. The store pages for each game now have a lovely clean, fluid and fresh look. There are some great savings to be had right now in the store as well so go check them out. Today is their last chance to claim 5 games before they leave the Stadia Pro library. Once you claim these games, they are yours for as long as you maintain a valid Stadia Pro membership. Trine 4 The Nightmare Prince, Floor Kids, Kimono Heroes, Life is Strange Remastered and Life is Strange Before the Storm Remastered. 4 games are taking their place tomorrow, Lumote The Master Moat Chronicles, Outriders, Paw Patrol The Movie, Adventure City Calls, and Keys in the Wild Masks. Finally, Overcooked has had a slight delay, not to worry though as it will be arriving on May 5th. The newest 2.0.40 update rolling out enables the GFN Mac OS app to natively support the Apple M1 chip. The update provides reduced power consumption, faster app startup and an overall elevated GFN experience on M1 based MacBooks, iMac and Mac Minis. A new genre row at the bottom of the games menu is coming too. Useful sorting options include the ability to see all games available in specific regions and by device type, and multiple filters can help narrow down the list. Members can soon enjoy an improved streaming statistics overlay that now includes in-game FPS. GeForce Now RTX 3080 memberships are now available as digital gift cards with 2, 3 and 6 month options. GeForce Now membership gift cards can be used to redeem an RTX 3080 membership or a priority membership depending on the recipient's preference. Those of you who are opted in for GFN rewards can receive the Heroic Edition of Guild Wars 2. Each Heroic Edition reward unlocks the following items. The base Guild Wars 2 game, 1 suit of legacy armour, 1 18 slot inventory expansion and 4 heroic boosters. GeForce now announced 7 new game releases this week. Dune Space Wars, Hollow Mental, Prehistoric Kingdom, Romans Age of Caesar, Sea of Craft, Trigon Space Story and Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt. Another 7 games were announced bringing the total this week to 14. Conan Exiles, Crawl, Flashing Lights, Police, Firefighting, Emergency Services Simulator, Galactic Civilizations 2 Ultimate Edition, Jupiter Hell, Lost Ark and Soul Cresta. Xbox added 5 more games to the cloud this week. Remember you need a Game Pass Ultimate sub to access cloud gaming? NBA 2K22 has arrived and for some, the game is still locked out of online services. No fix just yet which has rendered it basically unplayable in certain regions affected by the issue. We also got Bug Snacks, Unsold, 7 Days to Die and Research and Destroy. We also found out this week we are getting an Xbox and Bethesda game showcase stream on Sunday June 12 at 10am PT. So that's 6pm UK and 7pm EU. Hopefully we find out about more games coming to the cloud. Amazon Luna dropped a blog post laying out their plans for May. As you see, we can expect Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania on the Luna Plus channel. Get Packed is going to the Family channel. Ghost Runner, Ride 4, Monster Truck Championship and Metal Slug 3 are headed to the Prime Gaming channel. Luna also announced that Capcom Arcade Stadium will be heading to the Retro channel and this concludes games such as Ghosts and Goblins, Street Fighter 2 and Gigawing among the 20 games total included in this pack. Shadow PC looks set to bring some sizeable updates and improvements this year. They announced an upcoming Shadow Spotlight keynote stream for May 18. 
Shadow plan to unveil their strategic vision for the coming years and delivering promises made to its community. You can watch the keynote live on May 18 at 1700 CST, 1500 UTC and 0800 PDT across Twitch, YouTube and Twitter. They round up this announcement by stating 2022 will be a massive year for Shadow and we cannot wait to update our community with everything we have for them. No pressure then guys, but we are all expecting some hefty announcements after that statement. After a fairly slow start to the year, news is picking up in the cloud gaming space and in doing so, raises some expectations going forward. Make sure to keep it CGX for all the latest news. Thank you for watching and we'll be back again soon with more great cloud gaming content.